I am the executive pastry chef and owner of Sweet, a dessert bar in Worcester, Massachusetts. Before pastries, I was in a whole other world. Fitness. The fitness world and pastry are similar. They're both very disciplined fields. If I do anything, I want to be the best at it. I feel that I'm a sweet genius because this is what I was born to do. Always want to think out of the box. It's always about setting the trend curve, not following it. But I could say that about mine, too. I think I represented sand better. And I think I was more creative in my use of the bone marrow. I thought it would be fun to create a cupcake that was based on a cocktail and help people along their way to the two drink minimum. The final cupcake you have before you is an orange and amaretto cake with a lime gelatin soaker and Swiss meringue buttercream. And then you have a Pop Rock straw so that you can sprinkle the Pop Rocks on as you eat it or just down them if you want to, but that's kind of the fizz in your drink. And they're also cherry flavored for the cherry on top. I thought it was really fun how you took that two drink minimum and you really made it happen with the gelatin shot. I thought the flavors blended really well. I thought it was a really fun, cheeky take on the challenge, but you elevated it with, you know, a beautiful buttercream and some other sophisticated flavors. Hi, my name's Elena Eisenhower. Welcome back to my kitchen at Sweet. Today I'm gonna make for you my scone recipe. This is my absolute favorite recipe, probably the any recipe that I make, because it's super, super simple, and it's absolutely the best scones you're ever gonna have. Some of the problems with scones is a lot of people say they don't like them because they're dry or they're crumbly. Some recipes, most recipes that you've probably seen, you have to cut butter in, they're kind of involved. This is super simple, absolutely delicious, melt in your mouth really, really quick. I have here some cucumber, which is seedless. I like the seedless European style cucumbers. If you were to use one with seeds, it would water down your guacamole and make it separate a little bit, which wouldn't be so nice. If you can't find the seedless ones, you can take a regular cucumber and cut the seeds out and just use that nice outside part. So it's cut into a little dice, we have that in the bowl, and now comes the lime. Now this is cucumber lime guacamole, so you want to be generous with your lime juice. I have a nice juicy lime here, and this one is pretty big, so I think a half a lime is going to do it with one avocado. And you got to taste, which isn't a bad thing, you always have to taste as long as you cook. I'll taste without a chip first to make sure I can tell my seasoning. Perfect. Now I'm going to taste it with the chip, just because I love it. Mmm. Delicious. 